So welcome again in this lesson on Laplace transforms. So this will be our third lesson on Laplace transforms. On our first lesson, we introduced the definition of Laplace transforms. On the second lesson, we describe and explore different properties ng mga Laplace transforms. So in this lesson, we'll discuss the Laplace transforms of derivatives and integrals. So this will this is a very uh, interesting topic uh, kasi marami sa mga differential equations na uh, sinasolve natin bilang mga engineers ay nag involve ang mga derivatives and integrals. So it is important for us to know paano ba kunin ang Laplace transforms ng mga derivatives and integrals. So let's start! Before we start getting yung uh, Laplace transforms ng mga derivatives and integrals, balikan lang natin yung uh, definition ng Laplace transforms. So, again, Laplace transform is uh, meron tayong input function of f of t, then meron tayong output a function of f of s. It is defined as the improper integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st f of t d. So, pakitandaan. Now, for the Laplace transforms ng derivatives, gagamitin natin yung definition ng Laplace transforms. So, in this illustration, the Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function f of t is equal to the improper integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times the function that is the first derivative of f of t times t. Okay, so, pinasok na natin yung first derivative. So, we will, we will try, we will get the, the Laplace transforms of a derivative in this particular slide. So, paano natin sasagutan yan? So, sa so first look, we can say that we can solve this particular problem by using integration by parts. Okay? So, e to the minus st being our v and first derivative of f of t being our g. Okay? So, uh, pagkagamitin na natin yung integration by parts, ang magiging result will be will look like this. No? e to the minus st f of t evaluated from 0 to infinity minus the integral from 0 to infinity negative s e to the minus st f of t dt. So, in this case, nawala na yung ating first derivative, right? So, bumabalik na tayo dun sa ating f of t, which we can now solve using our knowledge about the Laplace transforms and its properties. So, yan yung ating integration by parts, yan yung v u minus u dv. So, by simplifying this equation, yung ating first uh, evaluation, pag nilagay natin yung infinity sa t, it will become 0, right? That, and then, minus, pag in-evaluate naman natin yung 0 dito sa function na to, ang matitira lang sa atin is a positive 1 times the f of 0. So, ito na yan. Okay? Then next, minus na yan, ilalabas natin yung negative s dahil constant yan. So, minus negative s da times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st f of t. Oops! Ano yung nakita natin? We know that this expression by definition is our f of s, right? Therefore, kung isisimplify pa natin, we now have the Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function is equal to the negative f of 0 plus s f of s. So, in this case, nawala na yung t, puro s na to. Okay, so, we now, we can now say na na-transform natin yung ating first derivative. So, i-rewrite lang natin na in notation ng Laplace transform. So, the Laplace transform of the first derivative is equal to negative f of 0 plus s times the Laplace transform of 
f of t. So that's pretty much easy by using the definition of the Laplace transform and integration by parts. So, yan yung ating first derivative. So, paano naman yung second derivative? Di ba? So, i-rewrite lang natin ulit yung nakuha natin sangkot kanina. Okay. Paano naman yung ating second derivative? So, paano natin kukunin? Ibalik natin siya dun sa, sa first derivative, which we already know kung paano i-solve. Right? So, we will uh, let another function replace yung ating first derivative so that yung ating second derivative will become the first derivative of this function. So, we let g of t equal to the first derivative of the function so that the second derivative of the function will become g prime of t. Okay, so, para magsasolve lang tayo ulit ng first derivative, which already we already know. So, in this case, we can have the Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function, f of t, is equal to the Laplace transform of the first derivative of g of t. Dahil nga, nilet natin na yung g of t to be equivalent to the first derivative na ating original function. So, by solving this g of t, we now know no, that it is equal to the negative g of 0 plus s times the Laplace transform of g of t. So, dito, nawala na naman yung ating derivative at ang naiwan na lang sa atin yung mga g. Pero, syempre, hindi tayo satisfied dyan dahil ang original, original question involves f of t. So, we want to see yung ating result to have, syempre, f not, and not g. So, paano naman natin papalitan itong mga g of 0, g of t? Okay? So, we know na pag ginamit natin yung dinefine natin kanina na g of t is equal to the first derivative of f of t, g of 0 is equal to f prime of 0. And, uh, of course, g of t is equal to f prime of t. So, papalitan pala natin itong mga g na to. So, g of 0, papalitan natin yan ng f prime of 0. And then, itong g of t, papalitan natin ng f prime of t. So, we now have the last transform of the second derivative of a particular function, f of t, is equal to negative f prime of 0 plus s times the Laplace transform of f prime of t. Oops! Di ba nasagutan na natin itong Laplace transform na ito? And ito yung ating sagot. So, in this case, papalitan ulit natin yung particular expression na yan so that we now have this uh, equation that the second derivative ng uh, the Laplace transform of a second derivative is equal to negative f prime of 0 plus s times negative f of 0 plus s times the Laplace transform of f of t. Okay? So, summarize lang natin. Ha? First natin, first derivative, ang ating Laplace transform yan is s, f of s minus f of 0. Yung nakuha naman nating Laplace transform naman ng second derivative, ganito yung itsura niya. s squared, capital F of s minus s, f of 0 minus f prime of 0. So, if we continue, meron tayong makikita ang pattern na pag umangat yung ating order, okay, pag umangat yung order natin, naging first derivative papunta ng second derivative, umaangat din yung ating some values sa ating uh, transform. So, for the third derivative, ang sagot natin dyan is s cubed. So, nadagdagan na naman yung ating s. f of s. So, puro minus na yung kasunod. Minus yung s kanina, magiging s squared. So, yung kapartner ng f sub o, nadagdagan yung kanyang exponent. Tapos yung kapartner ulit ng f prime of 0, 
lalagyan ng S hanggang sa wala ng S yung susunod. So, in this case, makikita natin na habang tumataas yung order ng derivative na isasolve natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng ganitong uh, tumataas yung S na partner ng mga functions natin. Okay, so, makikita natin S cubed f of s minus s squared f of 0 minus s f prime of 0 minus f double prime of 0. So, paano naman kung yung ating derivative is n? So, the function has nth derivative. Ano yung sagot natin? So, susundan lang ulit natin itong uh, pattern na to. So, that will be s raise to the n f of s minus s raised to the n minus 1 f of 0 minus s raised to the n minus 2 f prime of 0 so on so forth hanggang makuha natin hanggang mawala yung s okay so sa mga exam sa examples natin sa LMS i-discuss natin yung pagkuha ng nth derivative of a function. So, pakitandaan lang kung paano tayo kumukuha ng uh, Laplace transforms ng mga derivative. Usually, hanggang third derivative, uh, ganyan yung ating formulas. Okay? So, madali naman yung tandaan. And kung medyo maligaw kayo, pwede nyo naman din i-derive. Okay? So, let's uh, proceed for the Laplace transforms ng integrals. Okay. So, we have here the Laplace transform of a certain integral from 0 to t of f of tau d tau. So, this is a representative function. Okay. So, that uh, the Laplace transform of this integral ang sabi dyan is f of s over s. So, ang sabi pala Pag kukuha tayo ng Laplace transform ng integral na ganito yung itsura, nag-introduce lang tayo ng 1 over s sa Laplace transform. Okay? So therefore, yung ating inverse Laplace, pag nakakita tayo ng f of s over s, o yung ganyang itsura or form, ang inverse niyan is the integral from 0 to t ng ating f of tau d tau. Okay? So, paano ba yan? For example, we want to get the inverse Laplace of 1 over s times s minus a. Doon sa mga formula na diniscuss natin, wala naman ganito, right? So, ang meron lang tayo yung diniscuss natin sa first sa first slide, right? Katulad na ito. Alam natin na yung Laplace transform ng e to the a t is equal to 1 over s a. So, in this case, para makuha natin yung inverse Laplace ng 1 over s times s minus a, ihihiwalay natin yung 1 over s so that yung magiging itsura ng ating function sa loob in terms of s will be like this. So we have 1 over s times 1 over s minus a. So in this regard, makikita natin na 1 over s times f of s na yan Magagamit na natin ngayon yung ating definition ng Laplace transform ng mga integrals. Okay? So, ganyan, dahil ganyan na yung itsura niya, ang magiging sagot natin will be the integral from 0 to t times the inverse Laplace ng ating 1 over s minus a d tau. So, syempre, kunin muna natin yung f of s no? para Puro in terms of t na yung ating sagot. So, in this case, we now have uh, the integral from 0 to t times e to the a tau d tau. So, pag in-evaluate natin yan, makukuha natin yung uh, function in terms of t. But, all in all, we illustrated kung paano kinukuha ang Laplace trans or inverse Laplace na ang sagot eh in terms of the integral. Okay? 
So, meron, meron at meron talaga tayo makukuha na sagot na in terms of integral pagka kumukuha tayo ng inverse Laplace. Lalo pag ganito yung uh, form. So now, diniscuss natin, nag-solve tayo ng example ng inverse Laplace. So, paano naman yung pagkuha natin ng Laplace transform? Okay? So, dito illustrate lang natin. Alam natin that the Laplace transform of e to the 80 is equal to 1 over s minus a. Right? Therefore, the Laplace transform of the integral from 0 to t ng e to the 80, e to the a tau, d tau, is equal to the definition, okay, define na natin dito. It is equal to 1 over s times the Laplace transform of e to the a t. Right? So in this case, the Laplace transform ng integral Right? Integral is now equal to 1 over s times 1 over s minus. So, that's it. We discussed the Laplace transforms of derivatives and integrals. We showed examples on how to, to get deriv uh, the Laplace transforms ng mga hanggang sa third derivative and uh, sa integrals naman. We solve back and forth yung Laplace transform ng isang integral and yung inverse Laplace transform pabalik sa integral. So, uh, as we go along dito sa topic natin or sa module natin about Laplace transforms, magagamit natin tong magandang magamit na tool yung pagkuha ng Laplace transforms ng mga derivative and integrals. Okay? So, uh, I hope you, you gain some new knowledge in this lesson and uh, let's proceed to lesson number four so thank you